All right. Up there, Drode. Gonna try a new game today. I've been playing a little bit, but first we gotta make six characters. <clears throat> Got DOS styled uh, skill allocation here. That's something. All right. So. I'll have to explain this all in a second, but I'm gonna get some initial specs going on these characters. From what I can tell, so you have... So this is Divinity meets Battle Brothers meets Roguelike. That's what this game is. Uh, so from what I can tell, so these they got five stats. So Might gives plus one percent damage dex gives plus one crit rating which from what i can tell plus one crit rating isn't one percent crit chance i don't know how that interacts but anyways my is flat damage dex is crit d chance and damage and movement so as far as damage is concerned i think dex is actually the better stat especially since you have a lot of passive skills you can spec into like a uh, warrior here it just so like these two if you just get these two you get 20% flat damage so that's like 20 points in might just from those two so I'm basically gonna spec uh, dex on everyone and from what I can tell once you start hitting like level 10 you just started getting melted so you got to be specking health in some way so we're gonna go vitality believe it or not all right Gotta give them some swag here, you know? Gotta make them look good. We gotta fight in style. Like that, and... Oh, that's how he's gonna look. Look at that. What a legend. Hardcore guys. We're real gamers. Uh, actually, this is going to be Arrow Thurge, because there's Lightning and Cold, and we're going to have a Lightning and a Cold Mage, so a third of our party is going to be Hydro Arrow. So, uh, there you go. Um, let's see. So we're going to have a Fire Mage, a Lightning Mage, and a Cold Mage, so half the party is going to be Mages. So, yeah. Alright, um... I guess we'll just go ahead and make the Mages real quick, so... I think so this increases all damage and healing by 8% so basically the way you unlock more skills is you have to spend enough points in um, lower tiers of skills to unlock the next one so for every row of skills here I have to spend two points in the tier above it to unlock it or not just above it like if I spent four points in the first row here I'd actually unlock tier two and three basically so I'm gonna do one here one here and then it unlocks that tier okay so yeah, so passives and active, so increases damage and healing. This is a retaliation shield, which actually is pretty strong, seems like. And then this, so basically, if you know like poison coating um, in uh, Divinity, that's basically what this is. So it's enchant fire, adds fire damage to attacks. The thing is, if you do an element type damage, you automatically inflict the de debuff associated with that element. So fire does heat, which reduces elemental resist. Which is pretty spicy, which it stacks, so you can stack up to negative 50% resist on enemies just with that. So basically, all our mages are gonna start like this. They're gonna have the elemental shield, because all of them I think I have the shield, like lightning shield and then cold shield. We can have three retaliation shields, and then they all have the associated uh, enchant um, ability. So probably the ranger, we're just gonna enchant all three enchants on their bow every every fight, basically. Rat. Then, I think Dex. I think that's the play. From what I've been playing so far, it seems like Dex is better than Might. Not that Might is bad, it's just as far as being better. Not gonna do anything fancy with names, we're just gonna do that.
I guess the stylish hair for the maid. Blue eyes is fine. Give him the mean face, because he's the fire guy. Give him a nasty scar. There we go. What a legend. Okay, I guess, uh, lightning mage? The lightning... To give him, so yeah, so the passes on lightning is just flat crit chance, which is nice. So we'll do that. The shield and enchant lightning. So they're actually not going to have any special... So, Jesus, this is uh, Divinity meets Battle Brothers meets Roguelike. That's basically what we're working with here. Here's the thing. So, I think on the... I think it's this one, right? Um, so, we're actually going to go Intelligence instead of um, vitality on the lightning mage because they get this skill 90% of damage taken is lost in mana instead of health So We can just basically turn um, mana into a health bar as well, so we're gonna do that so we do intelligence instead And then this is the lightning mage Oops I guess we'll make the frost the a, a girl, but we'll make this guy a lightning mage. We'll give him the fancy hair. Give him some kind of body paint thing. Like that. Yellow eyes, because it's got lightning. Love that. Give him the giant eyebrows. There we go. What a legend. Look at him. Alright. That's three? Or that f I think that's three characters? Okay. Alright, now we need the ice mage. It doesn't really matter the preset because you can just change everything. It's just like divinity in that case. Cryomancer. I don't think they have any passives that increase mana stuff. Armor is added as cold damage. Interesting. Oh, I didn't know this was a thing. Each stack of chilled, which is the debuff that ice p applies, reduces their maximum health. So with ice, we can actually reduce the maximum health of enemies by 25%, which is huge on bosses. Oh shoot! So I guess they go and go uh, intelligence as well. Intelligence grants point one point one armor and magic armor per point, and then this skill, a percentage of our armor values added to our character as cold damage. So we can actually turn our intelligence into tankiness and damage. That seems decent. So max dex, then int. And then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take the passive. This reduces enemy damage. We'll take that. Sure. So every stack of children reduced by 5. So we can reduce their damage by 25%, which isn't bad. Okay, enchant cold. Perfect. One second. Let's look here. Each turn you freeze an enemy, you gain an additional action. So I guess end game we don't want to enchant enemies, our, our allies with cold, but that's good for now. Okay. Looks good to me. Hopefully we'll get out of this uh, character design simulator soon. Didn't be too much longer. This is character four, so we're getting there. on that sure staff which actually does heat they all start with heat which is weird all our characters are gonna look the same at the beginning because they're all gonna have the same all gear 
Okay, uh, so we have Ranger and three mages. I guess the buffer or healer next. Their decks. Uh, Brant, I just don't like it, so I installed it. Alright, believe it or not, we're gonna have a healer in the party, guys. No, it's crazy. So this is a regenerative heal. This passive increases our healing and holy damage, and then this increases, just gives a damage shield, basically, an absorbing shield. Jack's pretty strong, it seems like, so we're taking that. Then I guess we'll do another girl here, why not? This silly colored eyes, it's ridiculous. Stupidest hair ever. Looks good to me. Guess the axe. Fine. Nah, it, we're done playing it. Why didn't name them Kai? Default name. Support. Alright. Um. Thing is, I don't know what to do for the last one. So our options are like a summoner or a hard like tank, a reflect tank or something. They get tons of physical resist, so they get 15% physical resist here, another 15 here, and they get additional armor for nearby enemies. I don't know. It could be really strong. This could be our debuffer. Some sort. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll do some kind of like repose tank. I guess is what we're doing. So we'll do. I don't know, respecking is really cheap in this, so I'm not super worried about it. Monk is pretty nice. Disarm. Pain suppression. Max HP. Well, useful for early game would just be if we just went... Maybe that. And then... How good physical resist is because they can just reduce it, I guess. Okay, here's a combo I'm seeing here. So, percent of armor is added to her character's additional weapon damage, and then. Intelligence grants armor and magic armor. I feel like you could do some kind of ice tank. I guess we'll just do a melee DPS for now. How about that? Well, now let's go the summoner route. Let's go here, here. Um, and then, where's the other one? Raven, here. I feel that's gonna make the battlefield really chaotic. I just really want watching Baldur's Gate from you. Are you still thinking about the same game? Like, the, the, what do you mean thinking about the same game? Okay, we'll just go...
I want to take this, decreases resistance by 20%, and then there's a shadow skill like that. Curses, decreases all resistances by 20%. So that way we can get negative 40 resist with, with this guy. We'll go that. Sure, we'll just take that, why not? And then... He's not going to really be doing much damage, I don't think. We'll just take some utility then. And then he's going to go... I can see him going to here and then getting this stuff from intelligence, but right now we're just going to go... Vitality, primary, deck, secondary. Well, no, let's just... Am I saying damage first, right? Oh, I'm a wild card, because I know what he's going to be. This infects your life. Shit for real? Yeah. Food classic? <laughs> we might actually, yeah, we might actually be running a frost pallet in this game. That's That'd be... That'd be pretty memed here. That's for sure. Fine. Okay, I guess that's it. So... Oh boy. Normal difficulty. Yeah, it seems like a lot, but I, I feel like I'm missing out if I don't have four, six, so... Okay, here we go. Don't have any money. I think this... This one, the Forest Giant is the easiest one, I think. Maybe not with six characters, because it'd be hard to avoid his attacks. Alright. Yeah, mostly I've been playing with two or three characters. But then I feel like I just get swarmed too much and the damage isn't spread out enough. Okay. Get these random totems every fight. Okay, critical hit increased by 20%. Increase the power of mana using abilities. These ravens can cast evasion on themselves, which is really annoying. So I think we're actually going to go over this totem here. Okay, so every fight you can position your guys within the blue area, and then it's simultaneous turns, so you take all your turns together, and then they take all their turns together. So we can interweave actions between our characters, which is useful, because... Let me see how much he does. 15 to 20? Yeah, I think they have more health on, on a higher number of characters, so we're gonna go... They're all blocked. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna mega buff the wild card, I guess. So lightning buff, fire buff, ice buff. So three lightning, two. So he's doing an additional seven damage per hit. Where's the ranger? He can buy a debuff. Backers mark. Nice. Okay.
Then he can walk over here. Nice damage. It'd be really easy for a while, actually. Nah, I did not enjoy it, so I uninstalled it. Really? Not dead? I could put a shield on people, but I don't think it's really worth it right now. Ah, uh, we can put on the on the wild card. Yeah. Okay, pass the turn. Everybody takes their turn at once, and it lags. So evasion basically just they eat a an attack and it does nothing essentially. So. That's an annoying part, especially when you have a smaller party. So we have to attack once just to take it off. So now it's gone. They're super tanky because we have six characters. I can actually use Tracker's Mark to use the evasion. So he dodges the Tracker's Mark. Dodge that, buddy. attacking the box. Yeah, whenever we do fire damage here. Oh, she can't attack. That's annoying. We apply heat, so reduces the elemental resistance by 5% per stack. Stacks up to 10 times. It's only one stack right now, but it'll, it'll increase as we level up. I'm putting all these retaliation shields on this guy, so they should just die when they attack him. He's dead. Cool. And this is a absorbing shield, so he's super tanky now. Oh, oops, I forgot to apply the bus first before we uh, attack. Oh, that's fine. This is what BG3 looks like on Steam Deck. <laughs> the low spec graphics mod. <laughs> this this game actually runs pretty good unless you are, um, it's unless it's on the enemy's turn because then it's like moving them all at once and then it gets pretty laggy. But otherwise, it runs pretty. Good. Yeah, we got Crafton's Conduit Ring, so lightning damage. I guess that's good on. Obviously, the Lightning Mage. And then whoever we'd buff. So we'll do that guy, and then this guy. So these are the guys we could potentially buff. Cool. Soon we'll get some actually unique weapons and stuff for people. We don't just have... Um, tons of the same weapons. And of course there's fishing in this game. Why wouldn't there be guys? Hey. Oh nice, a shock barrel. Be a shame if somebody set that off. Reduces damage taken by 20%. I don't think we're gonna worry about that. So we're gonna put our melees by this guy. Put the ranger right here. Put all the mages right there, that's fine. Required by law that indie games have fishing. Funny. Okay, so we're gonna shoot the barrel. Now he's disabled because of that barrel. Cannot perform actions, so he doesn't do anything next. 
Mark this guy, get extra damage and crit against him with everyone. Gonna buff the crap out of wild card with the weapon um, enhancements. Now he does an additional nine damage. That's pretty spicy. Let's hit him once first with this. And now he has, and I, here we go. Yeah, negative 20 or 25% to everything now. So pretty nice. Nice, okay. He's dead. That guy's probably gonna go invisible. No reason to do a shield right now. I put this shield on some. That's why Skyrim has fishing. <laughs> okay, I thought he went invisible. I can't believe I'm actually healing in a game now. That's pretty it's pretty crazy, man. You think about it. Okay, well he dodged that, but that's fine. He the attack of opportunity. Move this guy in. Some nice whack. Okay. Bye. Really? One health? Okay, intelligence, cold damage rings, nice, I guess. Might and fire resist rings. Might is basically just raw damage, so that's gonna go on our ranger and our wild card for now. And then cold damage versus the cold mage. They all look the same. I guess he'll get this. I oh, got some vests. Might, dexterity, reflex, fire damage. The pyromage on him, I guess. Then wild card. Nice. All right. Sure, sure, sure. This is completely randomly generated. Like, there's a final boss at the end. An elephant gun? Rare two-handed gun? Yeah, that's an upgrade. More raw damage. Nice, look at that. Okay, we have a gunner now. Eventually, want that guy to dual wield pistols, I think is the goal. Because when you enchant them with these uh, enchant fire and ice and lightning, Skills, those apply to every attack, so that includes main hand and off hand, so you actually apply it twice when dual wielding melee or ranged. A robust figure stands and what about you, Wanderer? Uh, her voice dropping to a conspiratorial whisper. Okay. What's the most dangerous? The barrel's bigger than his head. <laughs> okay, well this is the dumbest part of the game is dice rolling. So I mean unless you succeed. So there you go. I once tracked a green dragon. Three experience, so I'm actually hit level two. Before the boss, which is nice. Oh wait, there's a chest over here. Dice rolls? Yeah, I mean, at least it's not the main... Uh, yeah, the only like missing you can do in this game is if an enemy has high dodge or if you have high dodge. So, I mean, not really... It's not as bad as BG, that's for sure. I just have to figure out how to get past like level 11 or 12 because I just get melted by enemies. That's uh, why I think I have to spec vitality or some kind of survivability okay okay that thing increases lifesteal I don't think we're gonna go over there we're just gonna stay here and then let them all come to us put all our range guys back here yeah that that is a huge gun look at this <laughs> that's so funny 10% chance to hit 
Awu. Yeah, you say that. That's wild card. Buff wild card again. So he does mega damage. Here's the ranger. He can put this on it. Increases damage and critical hit chance. Makes it sound like it only applies to the person casting it, but when you cast it on an enemy, the actual debuff says chance of suffering critical strikes increased by 8%, damage taken increased by 15 So it applies to everyone. Pretty spicy. This reduces resistance by another 20%. Easy money. Damage shield. Pop him off with the gun. Ragdoll him. Uh, let's do this. Let's back him up. Make him the priority target so he'll get all the shield. He'll probably kill himself if he attacks me, right? No, not really? Okay. Okay. Dead now. I think we'll just wait here. Actually, we'll just we'll move up. We'll get some life steal. But I want to be able to hit them. The ranges, range character. Well, he's not gonna be able to hit no matter what. That's a good amount of damage. You get for having a gun that big. Up, squash. Easy. Oh, there's still bears over there. Jeez. Yeah, okay, we'll just chill here, here until they walk over here. Mom, we have Baldur's Gate at home. Stop. <laughs> Buff the ranger, actually. I'm so. He actually has a better weapon than uh, Wild Card does. Nice. Oh, he doesn't have movement. Nice. To be fair, I'm having way more fun with this than Baldur's Gate. I know that might sound bad, but... I'm not getting frustrated over missing for no reason. Just because the game says no. Okay, so a bunch of berets. Seems like when you get loot, the bigger your party is, you get more. But then... It also gives you multiple copies with small variations, potentially. Okay, I guess this goes to Cold Mage. Ranger can take one of them, I think. Then the wild card. Sure, sure, sure. Get money. Got a helm? Nice. What helm is this? Dwarven Helm, Vitality, and Physical Damage. Okay, we'll give that... Sure, I'll give it to Wild Card. Give this to him. Alright, boss time. Should be easy.
to a life steal totem. So honestly, I probably need to spread out. Once you see the boss mechanic, you'll understand. So oh, I didn't think about this. Okay, let's let's just this hyper buff wild card again. Backers mark. Beast resist. You know damage. Blind. I don't know if that works against his range attack, but we're gonna out. Attack him. Okay, free attack, I guess. <clears throat> What's up, Ziggy? A lot of areas. So basically, all these red squares are what's going to explode next turn. Okay, so that does that blind did not stop him. Okay, bad. Nope, nope, don't move. Fine. Alright, um, this is a safe tile. Go ahead and heal him just cause. Um, everywhere over there is bad. Okay, we can go here. Safe here as well. Now he has 10 stacks of heat, so look at his negative resist. Negative 70% resist to uh, the, the elementals. Kinda insane. That's a huge, obviously, damage buff for us. At least for the guys that do uh, elemental damage. Most of them. Uh, did he not get a turn? Not with me, but... Movement impairing effects and knockback. All right. No bueno. <clears throat> His frost? Oh, I didn't even realize I had put enough frost on him. So I only have one um, source of frost right now, like I've chilled. We're gonna buff the ranger here. I can apply the weakening again. The negative 55. Put him with these guys first. The frost buff on. Or the frost. Get a nice little uh, dot off here. 47 crit.
Trying to get him to target our main guy. Got tons of defensive stuff on. Which, there we go. I think we just kill him this turn so we don't have to avoid the explosion. Yeah. <laughs> I could turn the music down if it bothers people. Adia, yeah, I'll turn it I'll turn it down half halfway. Okay, got some loot we can look at in town. Okay, two handed mace. Go on this guy. Just slightly more damage and it gives plus might. Oh, there's a chance to inflict fracture when striking, which you already have, but I mean. Healing damage, but has plus fire damage. I guess we just have one melee character. Dexterity, intelligence, and reflex. Sure. Uh, health per turn. I like the idea of that. Seems nice. The warding rings are nice though too. Those on uh, SMA. The lightning, the conduit ring really does not matter right now. Good, Ashen. How are you doing? Trying this game out. Seeing if I can just not die at level 10 on normal difficulty. Okay. Everybody leveled up, which is nice. PS1 port? <laughs> Oh man. Oh, wrong guy. It's the guy over one, right? The Steam Deck version? Buying a few potions. We don't really need to buy gear. Okay, so. Skills, support. There's Bless. But I think we just increase healing. Increases holy power and healing received by an additional. And the next level we can take this increases the damage of all allies within three hexes by 30%. Pretty nice. Okay, the wild card guy. I think he's gonna take first curse, curse, curse uh the target, lowering all resistances by 20% and healing received by 50. So this guy can already do negative 20 here, negative 20 there. So he alone can reduce all resistances by negative 40%. And this is the ranger. I just take some dodge chance cause just because I mean, there's nothing really else crazy here. I'm gonna do that. And then that means next level we can take something down here. We take precision, extra crit chance, and damage. Support? Yes, he did hear some crazy. Okay, I think. I think it just takes hothead. Extra damage and healing. And then also just more crit chance. Basically, the three mages are just buffing our melee guy or our ranged guy right now. Your stacks of chilled also reduce the t target's damage by an additional... So my question is, does this distinguish between the, the chilled that the ice mage applies from everyone else's chilled stacks? That'd be interesting to know. So deep, whoa, okay, deep freeze. Applies five stacks of chilled on the target. Which basically is an instant freeze. 
I don't know if it's worth it right now. I mean, it's free AP cost. Sure, we'll take it. I can see that being useful. I don't think it works on bosses, but... Okay, now we just have stats to apply. I think we just go all decks again. Okay, second boss. This one's a little more annoying, but it's not that hard. Okay. More bears. Okay, now we have five ranged characters. Okay. This totem, damage increased and damage taken. Great chance to increase. Three melee, one cleric, and healing feels really good if only because there's a ton of equipment to make healing buff your party. Yeah, that's just it. Is like healing isn't good because it's healing. Healing is good because you're, you know, buffing everyone. I mean, it's definitely better in that game than Divinity. Okay, I think we. Start mega buffing the ranger instead with it. Now he's just frozen. Be memed here. But now he can do negative forty percent. That just seems kind of insane. Don't need to right now. Put him in harm's way. We should die attacking your right? Oh, almost. That is true, Ashton. First time. One health. I've been trolled, guys. Is a paladin, so the team comp is basically a death ball of auras, making everyone immortal. Nice. Well, these guys just popped out out of nowhere. Okay. Basically, we're playing crit meta now because everyone has decks. I don't really see a reason to uh, do anything else.
Yeah, so let's look at the stats real quick. I'll just go over them because I didn't really go over all of them. So Might is flat damage and healing, summon damage, and buffs your magic and armor. So it's important for survivability, I guess, because you do get a good percentage. But then Dex is crit rating, which is basically crit percent. It's not like it says plus one crit rating, but one crit rating is not 1% crit chance. I don't know exactly how that interacts, but it does increase crit chance. 1.5% crit damage and increase movement. So question is, I don't know how like impactful that plus armor and magic damage magic armor is because enemies hit pretty hard um, going forward. Vitality is just flat health and percent health. Intelligence is flat mana and percent mana. Skill range, which doesn't really seem important. And then summon health. And then reflex is a weird stat. So increases your dodge percent, your counterattack chance when you do dodge opportunity attack damage and counterattack damage and then increases the number of counterattacks you can make per turn so yeah I mean I'm not sure about retaliation builds yet I guess we'll find out okay. Yeah, it seems like Dex is... Also, so the elemental debuffs are insane. Yeah, my understanding is they one-shot you late game, but the cap on dodge is pretty high. It's 75%. And so you can combine that with things like this. So Ghost Armor completely negates the next attack, lasts until hit. And then you can do things like Light has this, which our, our, our def, def, um, support already has, which is a, a damage shield, absorbing shield. So, I mean, I think theoretically dodge could be good. I think. Don't quote me. But then anyway, so lightning. So every so the three elements are fire, lightning, cold. They all have an associated debuff. So whenever you do damage of that type, you automatically apply the debuff. So heat, which is from fire, reduces elemental damage. Sorry, elemental resist, which stacks up to 10 times. So you can reduce enemy resist by 50%. Lightning stacks up to 10 times and it increases the critical damage they take by 10 percent so if you stack enough shocked you can increase your crit damage by 100 percent which is pretty huge obviously and then cold reduces their movement which i guess on enemies isn't huge but if you stack it five times you freeze them so you can do aoe freezes i guess that's the kind of the point and then sometimes in, there's passives that augment how they work so like Uh, I don't know if he does one. Yeah, so this one, this passive makes it where the heat stacks also give them damage over time, which I don't know how good that is. Um, but lightning, I think. Yeah, each stack of shock you've applied increases your crit chance by 1%. So, and then I think cold is the augment that's pretty huge. So... You can, uh, yeah, your stacks of chill reduce the target's damage by up to, once you get both of these, 5%. So you can reduce their damage by, actually, yeah, that's 50%. No, that's, I think the max stacks is 5 chilled. So you can, it's a 25%. You can reduce their damage by 25%. And then this one, each stack of chilled reduces their target's maximum health by 5%, which is massive on bosses, because you can get up to 25% reduction. Is this the boss? No, it's not the boss. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna put. Where's the melee boy? Melee boy here. Range guy is just over here.
fire barrel there. That's bad. It's an interesting, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I, I mean, I don't know if it's really a balanced game, but. Yeah, this guy's, the they're two captains. Oh, wrong one. Oops. Oh, there's two over here, too. Great. Oh, where's the healer again? Yeah, heals can crit, which is also why dex is good on healers, too. Like, obviously, it might increase his healing done, but you can just crit with your heals instead. I don't know. I, I could still be wrong about all that, like... As far as the balance stuff is concerned. I have not played Final Fantasy Tactic. Okay, um... a barrel explosion guys that's not good drink that that guy's still shooting us seriously buddy when will you learn actually I can blind him and he can't shoot us oh that killed him actually uh, I put permadeath on. Yeah, you don't have to. Oh, someone's invisible. That's what's going on here. Yeah, boss. <laughs> Quick heal off. So basically, the way hardcore works is like, let's say one of my guys dies right now. If I finish the quest, they're not dead. But if all my characters die during the quest, I, I lose them all. And also, I can just alt F4 and try F4 to fight again if I uh, want to. <laughs> Which I'm not gonna do if I die, I die. I've already like lost two runs. I think it's because I was running too small a party and not getting enough survivability up. Okay, a bunch of garbs. Max mana, healing given. Okay, well we know who that's going on. Support, I guess. Uh, well, yeah. It's Enough. A hard fight. Rogue. Goblin standard. Attackers take fire damage. 
Okay, well, I don't think I know how we're going to handle this. So... Put all our range guys in the totem. That's <laughs> bootleg divinity. Good actually. Can't believe I didn't kill the frost mate. Oof. AoE chilled. Evasion? Wait, where's the mage? Are you going invisible? Guess so. I don't know what else that would have happened to him. Kind of annoying. Do this to remove that and then a bam. Did the ice mage die and I didn't notice? Hey, he killed himself attacking me. Counter damage, not a big deal. My index. Maybe that's a big deal. Let's see. More armor. More stats in general. So. Not gonna complain. This is a weapon. Uh, one handed sword. I mean, that's like a reflect sword. Treasure, sure. That. I mean, it is actually kind of bootleg divinity because the uh, skill um, selection is actually similar. You have a bunch of different um, um, pools of skills and you can mix and match them. So. I think probably the boss after this fight. Like this fight and then the boss. Okay. Damage increased by 100%. Health reduced by 35, so die. Really want to kill the ravens on round one if we can. As many as we can. Because they will just cast evasion on themselves, which sucks. Nice, stunned him. 
Really? Okay. Evasion sucks. Let's do this just to remove evasion. Quite a bit of damage, actually. Gotta remove some, uh... ...of their evasion. Come on, kill one. I need to get some AoE heals, hopefully sooner than later. Retaliation. Two Warhammers. I wonder if it's actually better than the, the uh, two handed right now. Let's see. Um, Rock Breaker, sixteen or twenty one. It would be less, actually. It's unfortunate. Loot? Okay. Gunner. Mage. Bandit. Other mage. Elusive. Dodge chance increased by 25. Fun. Alright. Hey! Our ranger's a little low. But you know the magic thing is you can just heal. Pretty nice. Alright. I'm gonna put everybody over here. Alright, so... Once again... Buff the ranger. The ranger get a nice little shot off here. Nice. Freeze you.
nice that retaliation can crit. It's pretty cool. He's invisible, but you can see his shield. Wonderful. <laughs> that mage is still over. That's actually kind of annoying. Does recover mana. No cigar. Windows too. <laughs> we'll see. I think we'll finish that run at some point. Okay, let's buff the ranger again. some loot dex reflex shadow damage thing is from what I can tell uh, the plus damage of a certain type only applies if what you already do does that kind of damage I mean I could be wrong but that's what it seems like a good mask the, the armor is pretty well actually we already have a good element I guess Dex is nice though, so let's see. Um, my and Dex. And this is just a leather hood, so anything's better than that. Just wearing leather hood, so basically anything's better right now. That's good. Right now we're just putting whatever works on our guys, so. Treasure, sure. I'll take the treasure out. Surprise we're not at the boss yet. Money? Or I guess gold bar is just a uh commodity so you can craft with it. There's the boss. We'll just go fishing right on the other side of the boss. Why not, you know? little rune here gives us a little permanent buff for the rest of the quest okay, this boss is gonna suck I hate this boss it's not that hard it's just annoying okay so I think we're gonna basically we're just gonna face tank with the melee here I don't know if chill, chill does work on the boss. Nice. Cool.
cannot be frozen. Chill stacks do not restrict movement. That happens whenever you freeze somebody, I guess. Oh, he's... Yeah, whenever you get someone's health down to the next stage, they just can't take damage, which is the dumbest thing ever. So, all those little check marks here is a, is a breaking point where I can't do more damage. It'd be nice to get better staves or weapons for these mages. I time to reapply all these buffs. Oh, he's already frozen? Nice. Man, the freezes are pretty strong. Put me on that. I'm not talking about DOS, though. Yeah, well, he can't do any more attacks. He's already down to the next uh, level. Okay. That's super fun. I think we just take him down the next level. We don't have to move. So we're just going to try that. Curse. Got pretty good negatives now. And stunning a boss is kind of crazy. We can get him down next this turn. Wiping, please. Like literally, as long as one guy survives, we're we're fine. Easy. A new weapon. Healing damage, though, which kind of sucks. Uh, one-hitted axe. Two-handed. Health per turn again. I mean, health per turn is pretty decent. Seems like, at least. And a level up. So we're level three. This is support. Um, he can take this, which is increases damage of all allies within three hexes by 30%. So, yeah, no brainer. All right. This guy. Lifesteal heals you for a percentage of your max health each time you are hit. Hmm. I think we actually just go down the warrior tree now. Um.
I mean, 15% physical resist doesn't seem bad. I don't know. We're trying to get, there's a skill down here. We want the shield mastery. Yeah, we'll take challenger. So increased armor for every enemy nearby. That could be um, a decent amount. 10% armor or so. Sure. You'll probably get a respec, let's be honest. Okay, and then this guy, extra crit chance and damage. Just spending one skill point and getting 24% crit damage seems pretty extreme. Okay, this is pretty big. So haste on the mage. Target gains an additional action this turn. Pretty strong. Each stack of shock you've applied increases your critical chit chance by 1%. We're not doing a whole lot of shock application though. Energy shield is good. Thunderbolt could be nice though, just because the actual attack now. Hmm. Hmm. Chain lightning seems like it might be better. But this has a better cooldown. Take the energy shield, I think. Okay, the Frost Mage. This is also another guaranteed freeze because you're going to do five stacks of chill in one turn, one attack. I think we'll do this one. Potential freeze. That's everyone's uh, abilities. I'm going to just do a bunch of decks, I guess. Okay, we'll see. Can we equip any of this? So that's a better staff for, for her. Right now he's 19 attack power, so if we equip this and then some other weapon. Oops. That is higher if you do a wield. Cool. And he'll do the uh, the buffs he gets, he'll apply on both hits. So that's nice. Armor, nothing good. Probably better. Okay, we'll sell everything else. Do you have anything to buy? Whatever I just bought, I did not want to buy. Oh, 
Ronnie Longbow. Slightly more damage. Has plus 10 might? Oh my gosh. I think we take that. Taking the bow. That's pretty uh, ridiculous, honestly. Just free 10% damage? I guess it's not free, we just paid for it. What about these rings and stuff we have? Living Band. That's the health return one we just never equipped. Even better one of those. I think we sell the rest here. Take the that ring though, let's use that, okay. Go buy some healing potions. Then again, don't we have like a ton? Yeah, I think we're good. Let's see this fight. I guess this guy. The Grand Master. Also, for those of you who like War Tales, we'll go back to that. I'm actually just kind of waiting. It's not that I don't want to play it. I'm just kind of waiting on the next update. Because um, there's a lot of good stuff in the new update they uh, mentioned. And also, something they haven't really said much about is um, the new difficulty. Which, the main thing I'm waiting on, the game is too easy. So who does more damage? So 22, the ranger still does more damage. So we're going to still buff the ranger. have haste on the mage, so we can cast haste on the ranger. We can shoot twice this turn. We got so many buffs now. And seal of might increases everyone's damage by 30%. Just these two guys? Is that it? The guy over there. That's fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some heat stacks on him first. From the other guys. Okay, honestly, the ranger should kill him now, right? Okay, 95 crit. Cool, so I need to move. The ranger can actually use his second attack. I guess he'll just have to shoot this guy. Right? Barracks actually have a lot of armor, it looks like.
Oh, he's casting fields, isn't he? That's why I'm not getting a lot of damage off. Free health, really? Okay. Now you're dead. Absorbed! That's illegal. Die, please. Okay, buff the ranger again. Onion, this is uh, a stolen realm. It's divinity meets battle brothers meets roguelike. I guess how I would describe it. That's how I've been describing it. Let's see, a new sword. He's actually doing pretty good damage, even though I haven't been specking him for damage. Yeah, I guess you're right. DOS 2 for the king, because it's like the hex for the combat, and for the king is in hex based. It moves less, but that's fine. Lots of decks, though. He has 18 crit only, though. He has 29. 17, 29. Crit meta. I don't know. I might just run a melee, because that's what I've been running. I might run the wild card as an actual melee DPS. The problem is, I just need to figure out how to keep him alive. His build would be almost identical to the Ranger. It's the same ability, it's just not... On approach, range attack. You find the enemy quite distracted. A thief stream. Oh, that's what not worth it. Okay. His name is Donnie. That's the enemy's name is Donnie. Critical hit increased by 20%. The problem is that applies to enemies as well. Yeah, the narrator is pretty legit. I mean... I don't think I have any legendaries yet. Where's the purple legendary? Yeah, the purple's legendary. I've gotten mythics like level five, of course. I don't know. I don't know. Hand, hand enforcer teleports randomly when struck. Maybe we just kill Donnie here. I, I mean, he's got a lot of health. Everyone has a lot of health though, because we have a six-man party. Um. I guess we just go for the extra crit. I love being a ninja. What do you do, bud? He does 25, 23. So honestly, we should be buffing the melee guy right now just because his weapons. That is some spicy damage. Holy cow. Nice. All right. Um. I guess on this mage, just because he's going to probably get attacked.
Why can I not? Oh, look at five times. Oh, that's the melee damage I remember. Holy cow. Buff. Should have done this first. Should have done the slide this stuff. It has 18, but this increased by 20, so it has 38% crit. Frozen, nice. Convenient. Freeze this guy. <laughs> Get wrecked. Guess he can't teleport when he's uh that frozen. Yes, yeah, so now he can. Let's hit him with a melee before. Easy game. It'll get harder. All right. Plus nine intelligence and plus two physical damage. I guess that's uh, Ranger guys, right? Gives flat damage. Oh no, no, no I guess not. Let's do the lightning into the ice mage. Why aren't we using this helmet? Um, tons of decks. Yeah, that's it does. So yeah, so they all work the same. They give them 10% resistance to the relevant element, but then it does retaliation damage. So that's the main thing I'm casting it for. Like I'm casting on people I think are gonna get hit. Cause uh, yeah. What is this? 19 and 41? Wow. All right. Mega armor. Okay, I'm just trying to see. Sure, do that. See, I have all three shields, so we do a decent amount of retaliation damage. I don't. I think it's it was it was really effective when I was doing it like a two-man party. Oh my gosh, that was bad. Uh, it was more effective on a two-man party because uh, it was easier to get more of the enemies to attack one guy. I feel like it's not as good on this party because it's six people. Opal might and fire resist. Oh, that was a necklace, so I can just put on anyone. Ooh, a board charm? There. Resting upon a wooden table is a flask filled Finally, with a fortune. Oh. Its glow a beacon amidst the surrounding gloom. Beside it, you find a tattered note scrawled in the spider. My skin. increase by 15 Last, applies blind. Yet I feel an undeniable surge of energy coursing through my veins. So this could be decent I'm on the melee. Bat, but I've the strength of an ogre. 
Well, there's no reason not to get it. As the hero takes a hearty swig of the potion, as the hero Because you can just heart, not equip it. As the hero takes a heart. As the hero takes a heart. As the hero takes a heart. As the hero takes a hearty swig of the Thanks. Alright. So we're only putting on the melee. Fortunes. Brawler's Brew. But he can't do anything range, which is fine, because, I mean, all that really does is he can only curse someone who's right in front of him. Fine. Because now he does 15% more damage. I think it's worth it. For now, like, it's not a permanent buff I'll use. It's here as the hero takes the... Yeah, over and over. I mean, that stuff makes more sense in, like, multiplayer, because everyone just does it once on their own. Cover mana, stuns. You guys have so much health. We have six characters. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, let's put the archer... So many things to cast. Okay. Advantage the multi-classing? Uh, yeah, so I'll give you an example. So our ranger, he's working his way down to this skill. Where is it? This one. Quick draw. So it makes the next three basic attacks cost no AP. So it's like, it's like adrenaline on steroids, all right? So that's that, okay? So, three attacks in one turn. And you might ask, why are we doing basic attacks? Well, let's, let's, uh, let's investigate, shall we? First off, quick hands. Your basic attacks have, uh, I should have taken this actually last level, but that's fine. We're gonna take it next level. Your basic attack has 50% chance to strike twice, can only trigger once per turn. So that's one. So, basically, Doubles the effectiveness of one basic attack every turn, most likely. Quick draw, take three basic attacks every turn. We go over to Thief in tier three. Increases critical hit damage of your basic attacks by 75%. Okay. So we're going to do a Ranger, then Thief to grab that. Not to mention there's more crit damage in the passives and then Ambush. More damage when there's no one near the enemies. Or we can just take Dodge, it's up to us. Probably not the damage though, because yeah. And then, once we're done with Thief, we'll go over to Warrior. And then down here, we can take Dual Wield Mastery. Oh, it's not Dual Wield, sorry. Yeah, we'll do Dual Wield, because we're doing, uh... Yeah. So, Dodge Chance, Critical Chance, and Critical Damage for Dual Wield, because it'll be a Dual Pistols Ranger. Then... Where is it? There's a passive for flat damage on um, basic attacks over here somewhere. Maybe I'm being stupid. Oh yeah. Increases basic attack damage by 50%. Basic attacks now lifesteal for 5%. So between Ranger, Thief, and Warrior, we get triple basic attacks. Chance to repeat our basic attacks. Um, Thief, we get massive crit damage on our basic attacks and then blood drinker we get extra raw damage on our basic attacks then also there's executioner which is just basically the same as divinity uh, every enemy slain on your turn grants one additional ap you can only grant up to one a ap per turn so it's the same literally the same thing as divinity if you are familiar with divinity i don't know if you came for the soul realm or because you've seen my other content but yeah we play divinity a lot and literally the same thing so yeah, this, he should die. Maybe. Frozen works too. We just froze three guys this turn. Okay, this guy's not frozen. So we'll walk down here. So he'll attack our shield guy. And there's other reasons to multi-class. I'm just giving you a, a good example as to why we would want to do that. Yeah, 
Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of the shields. They're, they're doing nothing. Like, they did a small sliver of his health attacking to three shields. Like, I don't know if it scales well or something, but it doesn't look like it'll be the case. Like our melee guy could be way stronger, we just took different skills. I might switch him into a good melee. Then he killed himself, nice. Seven seven four decks. It might be good on somebody, right? I don't know if the nine intelligence really is a big deal. I have not. I think I have it though. Yeah, I think I have Dragon Age Origins. Duelist Vest. I think that's good for dodging, right? Yeah, dodge counter chance. Um, might just be good to put on someone for armor though. My decks. Actually, probably not, because we're getting good other stats. We'll take it on him, actually. Just for the armor. Okay, this is the boss, I think. Here we go. The Grandmaster. I mean, yeah, you can go for more passives than actives, and even some of the actives are like activate once per fight, and then they just happen. Okay, so we're... This guy summons people. I think we spread out because he does like charge attacks. He knows Kung Fu, guys. Watch out. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. I spread him out, but then I want to get the damage buff from the the uh, priest. Yeah, so now I can't do anything, so I just have to skip my turn. Ooh, look at those. These actually give us another action, so it's pretty spicy. Oh, buddy, that did literally nothing. Oh, thanks for grouping me up. One, two, three, four, five, six. All my guys are over there now. Did he turn off my uh, priest buff? Well, I guess I ran out of mana, so let's take a mana potion. Go here. Then the ranger is not near that, so let's do. Oops, getting the damage buff.
Um, I don't, I don't see inner worth on him, so I don't know why he didn't get free as frozen. Fine. That's some damage. Whoa, 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 whoa! Chill, chill, chill. Come on, man. That's unacceptable. Whatever you just did, y'all, that's not okay. I'm missing. Oh, the Thunder guy's out of mana. There's three difficulties above this right now. Let's put it that way. I, my uh, my impression is those difficulties are more intended to... Inc you can turn it up as you get further along, not... Like, instantly. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you could do it from the start, but... That's not the impression I get. These guys literally have Ninja Turtle names. Wrath, Leo, uh, Donnie, and and uh, Mikey. Okay. Uh... I'm blinded. That's right. He's frozen. We can ignore him. Ouch. Okay, so now we're in trouble. He actually, well, he can't do a potion. He already did. And everybody's done a potion. that first yeah you you always start first unless there's some special um, modifier to a fight that can happen Nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I think we go for the Grandmaster because he's going to kill us pretty fast. Probably going to lose some people, actually. Nice. Okay.
This one might die. It, just, it really doesn't matter. He is. Okay, he's dead. I don't even know which mage that was. But that was the heal. That was the support. Actually, like, she lost her buff. And we got. We have to replace these stabs. They're so bad. Oh no, it wasn't. It was the uh, shot guy, I guess. Or the fire. I don't even know. This is our support. He just ran out of mana. Fist weapon? I haven't seen fist weapons yet. Gain additional physical damage equal to 1% of your max health. Huh? Interesting. Con build? This... <laughs> We could do a melee monk. I don't. I don't think these weapons probably would be good though. Uh, it looks like this one might be good now. The ten thirteen. I mean, that's pretty good. Might, intelligence, vitality, trainers, ninja gear. Fourteen decks. Okay. Well, we can look at it in a second here. Pretty good. Like, this gives us seven crit chance. Okay, it looks like every point in dex is half a crit. Because it just gave us 14. Right? Okay, this Tonfa might actually be... No. Not better. Did we get any rings worth? No, we got nothing. Okay. We just sell everything. Actually, is there a staff? A wand? This wand is probably... It is worse. I'm considering turning this melee guy into an actual full on melee. They're two handed guns. I'm hoping for one handed guns. I think that is actually still an upgrade, right? Barely. I don't think it's worth it, because we get 10 might off the one we have right now. Okay. The question is, do we respect this guy into full-on memes? I think we just roll with it. Like we're almost the next level anyway. What would he go next level anyway? What do you, what would he do? Hmm. 
think we just respect everyone, right? Because the mages, the shields just don't really do anything. Like, these are great. The shields just don't really do anything on the bigger party sizes. They could come out of those and take something else on tier 1. Like, I don't know, even just fire assist is probably more useful. Like, this is fine. Like, taking like that. Maybe. I'm really interested in maybe doing like a frost tank. Like, I know that sounds bad, but I don't, I don't see the point in the f having a dedicated frost mage. Like going cold and warrior, just because of how it. You get armor for having intelligence. I don't know if it's possible, but going into Lightning Cold and Warrior for some kind of tank build would be interesting. Because you get Energy Shield, Diamond Eye, so you get armor. Sorry, no, no. And Vulnerable Winter, you get armor for point of intelligence. Current bonus 31. Yeah, I guess that is pretty high. That'd be insane. So she'd almost quadruple her armor if she has this. I mean, obviously she can't get it yet, but like in two levels. I think we're just going to do one more run before we bother with respecting stuff. Go to town, we can check for gear, I guess. One-handed guns. It would actually be low dam lower damage doing that right now, so... With a reality be such a dull little toy you are, she coos, her words a twisted lullaby. So if we beat this always with this, safe, um, always towing the line. Where's the buff spot? on the enemies with the this flame, bow? The thrill. Let's make things more entertaining, shall we? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gain additional weapon damage equal to 30% of your dexterity? Whoa, okay, we're taking that. We're gonna take the harder fight. So enemies get chilling. Whatever that means. So I guess you just get one stack of cold every time you end a turn in their aura, maybe? Okay, so first things first. Buff our bad boy here.
Perfect. Get out of this aura, I guess. Why did she just get it? I'm... Him, that's unfortunate. Wow, a hundred crit like that. I guess I can just walk into the chilling aura. Put himself there. Actually, a bunch of good mail, like good armor, so damage reduction, you know. I'm gonna leave the decks on the ranger though. We want him to do as much damage as possible. Another mask. The helmet he already has is kind of insane. 19 and 41. I guess something can be said for farming uh, a boss, even at this level, to get good gear. Not sure if it'd be worth okay, it. Here's that bow. So... This should still be better, because it says less damage. But I think we, when we equip it, we get that bonus from... Yeah, so it just... Look. So 23 attack power. To 32 because it gets bonus damage from my deck. So, oh my gosh. So, you're telling me now dex is increasing our base damage, crit chance, and crit damage. This seems fair. Alright. 40 crit chance, 161 crit damage. My gosh. Game is fair. We did level up too, so he's gonna go something. Lifesteal, or I mean, I think he just needs to go down this tree. That point. We get. Bonus damage and health for having people around him. He'll get a chance to repeat an attack every time.
I think for now, we just take like fireball on him. We actually have an attack. I think same with him. Just take some AoEs now. Alright, I think... So at this level, um, light gets a nice thing, so you can increase any of these passives that does Vitality by 20%, Might by 20%, Intelligence, or Dexterity. So just a raw stat increase. But I think we're gonna take... Purify, remove all negative effects from the target. And it ref refreshes every turn, so... Our ranger is getting kind of insane. Like, honestly, we probably just need to put this bow on one of the, the mages at this point, because even though it doesn't do f the heat uh, a sack, like, probably. So, whichever one has the highest, though, it looks like the lightning mage. The highest. He's just going to get a bow now. Knights, which are armored. Just two knights? Oh, and the, the mage right there. Duh. Okay. I'm gonna kill the mage first. Kind of seems broken, just freezing everyone that easily. Hey, okay, time for some big damage. All right. <laughs> All right. Now this feels like Das 2. Just like Das. I mean, the bow we got is just kind of stupid. I'll save the mana. It's not worth it. And this does also the same kind of thing. Aoe. Okay, hey, they did nothing because we froze them. When I go kaboom, you're dead. Perfect. Move this guy up. Oh, I can attack an ally with a healing staff. That's kind of nice. Did 
that was busted. All right, we just had a huge power spike, it looks like. <clears throat> Some shields. Maybe it's time to use a shield on somebody. Maybe not yet. I mean, we're on level four. So. Not taking a whole lot of damage yet. You also get more loot for having a bigger party, it looks like. Oh, there we go. Pyromage. Yeah, that literally just over doubled his damage. We're being limited by the fact we're not getting good stabs right now. Your path is obstructed by an elaborate. Okay, we have to disable it. So we, we get reduced fire damage and take a lot of damage. Of okay, everyone gets a negative to the, the roll, so that's wonderful. Okay, well we just rolled two. Gathering her cloak about her. Oh, poor got burned. the boss? No, I don't know. Okay, there's just three? Oh, let's go kill the treant, shall we? Kinda of ridiculous. Just turbo freezing someone like that. Okay, I don't know if this will kill, but we'll try. No luck. All right. Okay, that's all they did, is just buff themselves? Seems weird. Ah. Block myself. A negative 35%. Okay, that was 161 damage. Living band, health per turn. It's just an upgraded living band. On the melee guy.
Do some hand-me-downs. Do an event. Maybe we can get some fortunes. Don't look like it, though. Four simple target dummies stand assembled in front of. Look at this sorry sight. The voice continues. Battle receive in its tone. 1500 experience. Looking at the walking definition of a zero. Is there such a thing uh... as the opposite of a hero? Because if so, that's what you are. A chorus of laughter rings out from the straw figures. If okay. looks could kill, I'd be dead already. Are these just literally just target dummies? I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to position like it's a real fight. Am I being taunted by the target dummies? Oops, I forgot this. Free 30% damage. Why did his thing refresh? Oh, I did not cast it. Okay, this is just a free fight, it looks like it. A lot of XP for a free fight, like... We're literally gonna level up. Okay. Um, where's our level up, guys? It said 1500 XP. We should have leveled up there. I don't know. Maybe it gives this it to us at the end or something. Now I'm confused. Well, this is the boss, so I hope we get massive amount of XP after this. Seventeen hundred XP it means a HP, not XP. Go. Getting a freeze off on the boss like that just seems kind of busted. We'll do shields. We have mana as well.
Okay. No bueno. Explosions. That's a safe spot. This is actually okay. Let's try this real quick. The mate, there's the fire mage. I think we're already safe in this general area here. Convenient. Nice. Ouch. <laughs> Waste everything because we can't. So frustrating when they just make the boss invincible at a certain point. Okay, let's see here. He's frozen as well. The explosion is ridiculous. Wow, so much damage, guys. <laughs> Ugh. 
It's going to be ridiculous when uh, the ranger gets quick draw. Because I think then he'll do four attacks in one turn. Technically he can do five sometimes. Alright, this is some good gear. Holy crap. Alright, we'll have to look at that town. Alright, I think we got robbed because that um, dummy fight should have given us enough level um, XP to level up. But we did not. Like, we should be way past this level now. Okay, swords here. 10 to 13, 6 decks. Yeah, give that to him. Nice. Okay, one-handed pistol. Definitely downgrade. I think it's a bug, yeah. Because literally the quest said, like, when, when we clicked it, it said 1500 XP. Perhaps we were the dummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we got played here. Hey, how about this armor on the melee guy? Less magic. Just worse. Like, these are just worse unless we're going for a, 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 a reflect or a reflex build. None of this is good. I'm worried about armor though. I don't want to or decrease our armor. Like I might even just put that on because the armor, because we're gonna start getting wrecked. I think. Just sell everything. I have some stash stuff here. Um, it's level two. We're level four. I might just put one on though on the um the ranger, because it makes it where basic attacks can repeat. What are we wearing right now? Nothing special, so yeah, we should take one. Base is the same, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, now we have this skill. 50% chance to strike twice. And then... This gives a 25% chance to strike again. And they can both proc at the same time, so... We have huge spike damage now. Basically, that's going to... Thing. All right, moving on. Oh, did it move this boss? Because this says defeat Ronin, but it was the Grand Master. And now this says defeat the Grand Master. It's the same boss, I'll do it again. Cause I think once we hit like almost six or seven, I'm gonna have to start putting points in vitality. And then probably get some heavier uh, healing skills on the healer. You see your enemy off guard, but the moment will pass quickly. We're not gonna do any of that garbage. Okay. Goblin standard. There's a wind to go over there. We can, I mean, this increases the damage we take. But all the range guys can probably stand in here just fine.
Hey, here we go. <laughs> That's how we do it around here, boys. Okay. That's supposed to be like a boss-like enemy. Like a mini boss, I guess. The champion. I mean, I guess when you stack a bunch of debuffs on him, I mean, what do you expect? Huh. Also, I'm kind of a fan of all this fan of all this freezing in this uh, game. Actually, these freezes aren't bad, especially on the bosses. Like this one is free because it doesn't cost AP, so I'm not missing a, an attack by using that. Then why did he get a, t a turn? I'm confused because I, I froze him and then he took a turn. Range your replies frozen on Wendigo. I don't know. I don't understand. I'll pay attention next time. Oops, forgot the buffs. Easy. About to not be easy though once we level up a couple times. Hard battle. I think these guys can apply a pretty nasty buff, so I'm gonna Negative. He doesn't have any heat on him yet, but he has negative 40. A triple hit from the repeat attack chance. He's dead now. Oh, I forgot to cast the 30% damage buff. Ha! 
Okay, so he's frozen now. We'll see if something we does removes it. Oops. Okay, it's on him. Okay, trash gun, some shields. Nothing we need. I think we'll level up after the next fight though, so that's nice. Blackguard, is that another shield? Yeah, another shield. But it's a shield, I think it gives, yeah. The shield gives flat weapon damage. So if we had a one-handed like ranged weapon that's worth keeping though oh boy what's going on here a savage snowstorm rips through the frozen wilds xp Slowing or get frostbitten landmarks and the sparse shelter of the evergreen Nice. In the heart of the storm, it, something within you stirs. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We have to do it for the every character. Fears. Oh my gosh! In the heart of the storm, something. I mean, we're getting the party stirs. tons of experience every time we roll it right. A natural one. Okay. Rip you. Your boots slip and fail. Losing a ton of health and getting a frosty buff. That sucks. Again, your boots slip and skip. Okay, got this one in the heart of the storm. Okay, we leveled up, but lost a ton of health on some characters. So, okay, Ice Mage. So, this tier it starts costing two skill points, so it's unlocked, but we don't have enough skill points. We're not really doing ice damage, so cold blooded would do nothing for us, really. Um, I don't think there's anything to take here. There's some other utility we could take right now. Sure, let's take that. So it disables a character for one turn. The more stuns on the ice mage. But Mass Cure probably is worth taking now. Okay, and then... Our Warrior Boy here. Take some Physical Resistance, I guess, if he really is just going to be a tank for now. Okay, every Hex between you and the target increases damage dealt by 2%. So basically, we get Ballistic Shot and everything. This will just buff fireball, so we'll take that.
Sure, we'll take that. Because next level we'll get we'll take a point out and then we can do something on the next tier. And I think this level will go deck still. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dodge chance by 20%. Chilling aura. Maximum health increased by 25%. Deals more damage at lower health. Okay, that doesn't seem fair, guys. Alright? I'm not okay with that. 1100 HP. Alright, here's the deal. Here's the deal, guys. Go over here. Um, okay. He's buffed up. He's debuffed. Another debuff. Nice. All right. So he this this frost mage can basically stable three guys on the first turn. Like I'm not gonna say it's bad. That's pretty good. If you ask me. Okay, I hope this doesn't unfreeze him. No, it does not. Okay, how did he still take a turn if I froze him? Oh, he has chill immunity. I'm stupid. That's why. Okay, I'm, it's, I'm stupid. Okay. That is so busted. Having a chance to repeat attacks. Pretty strong. Dodge.
He dodged my freeze? You suck. Alright. All right, this ranger is pretty pretty legit. Let's be honest. Okay, max mana and fire damage. I think it really matters, except on the pyromage. Sure. Humble garb, healing given. We need his armor, so we'll just leave the armor on. Sure, I'll take the treasure. Why not? Skeleton necklace. Finally. Some kind of necklaces. Not a good one, but it does something. Some might. Okay, this is the same boss we did. I don't know how it spawned in a different node. It's a bug. Because the boss switched nodes it was on. So it shows us as having completed a node that we haven't fought the boss on. He knows Kung Fu, guys. Watch out. So yeah, he unfreezes because I got him down to the uh, correct amount of health. Might be worth killing him still first. I don't think these uh, ninjas are going to be as bad. I mean, I can't even attack them this turn anyway. He did a fourth of his health just by hitting the uh, guy with the shields? Kind of crazy. Yikes, right? Let's go. Hey, if I eat some attack of opportunity. Oh, I'm gonna fireball myself. Don't work. Never mind. Um Repeat, please.
sure. There you go. They're not gonna be able to kill us, they're too weak. And my archer is just kinda too ridiculous. To be honest. That's so great. Uh, mana potion. Ouch. That was a 220 dam- actually 240 damage? Yeah, Ranger dealt 220 damage, crit, and then also crit with... I guess that was just one of the elementals. It doesn't say what kind of element. That's kind of- they need to fix this menu to make it more descriptive. Because apparently these elemental buffs and chants that you can do on weapons have a separate crit roll. Entirely, so you could crit with the main attack and then not the elementals, or crit with the elementals and not the main attack. Kind of interesting. All right. Tanfa. I wonder if that's any good. Sixteen decks again. Black belt of the sparks, mythic armor. Tons of reflex. I guess I need to look up what gear you can get from these guys, like different bosses and stuff. Okay, so this is more decks. Great up better. This bow is gonna scale for a long time. Holy cow. I need to look up where I got this, because if it has an, a, a specific area you can get it from, pretty good. Okay, let's see if the Tonfa is any good. Because it might. Nah, no, it's not good enough. Dex goes burr, I know, right? Kinda ridiculous. This is an upgrade. Might just need it for the armor. Uh, it's fine. Okay. I think we saw everything else. I can just go store the mythic just cuz I think the the stash is persistent Even if your characters die, so I, think I put it away to die Okay. This guy is ridiculous right now. Yeah, fortune he did. Oh, but I can't use it because it's like 
Otherwise, my guy, my ranger becomes melee. Okay, did he have anything to sell? I don't think these guys usually have anything worth buying. Maybe some pendants and stuff? Ah, okay, let's go. The Black Knight. I don't know what a lot of these bosses are. So they could be cripplingly bad. Go here, I guess. And hope we don't die, boss. And hopefully we level up and then we can take, uh, when we, after this quest, we can respec into a quick draw. On the ranger. I wonder if there's a reason I just don't run two rangers. The silence hangs heavy and foreboding. You oh, feel a shiver I just have to fight them like this? Okay, we just get a normal fight. The silence is shattered by the pierce. How much dex do we have on them? 58 dex? 42 crit chance? Oh, Look, these guys are bad, I think. Oh, explosive. Oh, they explode. Another reason to play ranged, guys. All right. Um. Oh, that's a ghoul right there. We need to kill him, like, now. I think he reduces your max health, which is kind of rough. I learned that the hard way in my first run, where I just died because of it. Can I run him over there? I can. Perfect. Here we go. Wow. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, okay, okay, dude. I know you're strong. Give him, give him a break, man. That's just, that's uncalled for. What you just did to him? Just un, uncalled for, all right? Movement cost double. Ouch. Bye. Alright, we have some nice AoEs this turn. Ugh. 
Oh, he doesn't have it up. It's a longer cooldown than the Lightning Mage? That's unfortunate. I thought they were the same cooldown. Ow. That's annoying. Oh, I forgot he's got... I can't hear that. That's unfortunate. That poison is just kind of annoying. 169 crit? Oh, he got frozen after that turn was over? I gotta do more study, so I'm guessing... The, the buff that prevents freezing was removed, and then it saw he had five children and froze him on his turn. That seems kind of busted, but... Can't move far enough, that's fine. Yeah, just the interaction with the skills and stuff is really weird. Viking hammers, huh? One handed, they're higher damage, less decks, but. More flat damage, so it's worth it. Wonderful. Tons of fish. Okay, who is this? Rage Paw the Unchained? What a name, guys. What a name. Okay, I could put my... Put my, uh... Range guys over in this, uh, Dodge Chance area. Shall we? And the melee guy. He has toxic. Applies poison when striking and when struck. Teleports randomly when struck. Increased movement. Action points. And less health. Yikes. Miniature is pretty good. I mean, it's bad for us, obviously. So. The good news for us is frozen prevents him from moving. So. We're just gonna go eat. And then buff the crap out of a ranger as always. Okay, and then 
debuff his resist, increase our damage. That's pretty pretty solid damage. Oh, I forgot to put my 30% damage up. That's uh Yikes, yes me. Probably could have killed him. Oh, I didn't notice all the zombies they decided to have join the party. Fine, he's dead anyway. Should have put some shields on him. Oh, there's some over there now too? That's lovely, guys. Okay, let's skedaddle out of the way. For our, uh... AoEs. That really just don't do a whole lot, do they? Meanwhile, our ranger doing all the work. Dodge my froze. Okay. Fantastic. Dodge my disable. Okay. Man, 25% dodge is just... That's atrocious. Dodge again. Uh oh, is this game turning into Baldur's Gate? No bueno. I think these might be... Yeah, these are better. Wow. Okay. Well, actually, they don't have the might on them. I think it's... doesn't matter.
Yeah, it's better. Also, we got to level up. So that means if we go back, we can spec in this quick draw. Which is pretty nice. We actually go in the shield mastery now. So the thing is that shield, did I sell that good shield? I did seal that, sell that good shield. Dang it. So that's going to do nothing for us now. Okay, perfect. I sold that shield that give us um, weapon damage on it. Okay, it's getting insane. Oh, it is 32 damage now. Oh shoot, is this actually better than... Oh my gosh, okay. I guess I could have gotten pole arm on him. So let's see. We'll just take... This for now, sure. And then, because we want to take this, but we have to do two skill points. So we have to unspec something. To respec everybody. Take your patient hunter. Why not? Do they start with heat? Nice. And chain lightning. This is really just for the rest of the run on the quest here. Sure. Hopefully it doesn't do much for us, but that's fine. I can't believe I sold that shield. 1500 gold? Nice. Oh, what is this? A malaise sweeps so still as an alabaster statue. She emanates um... an air of tragic beauty. But it is her eyes that held the most terror, for within their depths gleamed... Alright guys, let's try not to wipe here. Curiosity. doing a boss battle for extra here. It's not the main boss battle, it's just a... Okay, and this is a dodge. Okay. Lady of the Well, 2500 HP. There's no um, halves in its health, so it doesn't look like there's any um, invis invincibility... Um, Sections. Okay. He is teleporting, so... Now she can't. Alright, do me good, Ranger. Okay. Nice, you did good. Wow, he hits for 276 too? That's a pretty good negative resist there.
Yeah, I think we actually kill her before she does anything. Maybe. I guess disable doesn't work on her. Doesn't work. Okay. That was super easy. So this level three bow is still outscaling this legendary level five. Just because of the uh, scaling with dex. Shield, vitality, reflex. Okay, so we got some tanky helms. Defeated, the Lady of the Well slithers back down the cracks Ooh. of the sealed well, but she has left her shadowy heart. Apply sludge. It'd be nice if it told me what sludge is. Okay, well, I guess we can just put that on everybody just because the other one is useless. I mean, none of them do shadow damage except the melee guy. Okay, so where'd these come from? These didn't show up. So mythic wands, shadow, and lightning. Grant skill teleport self. Okay, well. Oh, that's a that's a the scythe is a wand. A little odd. All right. Well, now he has that. Gonna start wearing these things just for armor. Um, put that on him. Yeah, that's good for now. Wow, that was buggy. Okay. I don't think this is the boss yet. Just says ranger, so no. Okay. I think we take the damage shrine here. Okay. Damage aura. All the weapon buffs. Frozen. Okay, that's disgusting. That damage? Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. That's just kind of... Just disrespectful.
Yeah, I'm considering just running two rangers. It's just kind of ridiculous. I don't know about running the f fire or I or lightning mage right now. Like, I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, there's chainmail and more armor. A Valkyrie Helm? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You shouldn't have. Not really that much better, but it's something. Uh, yeah, this is a boss. I haven't done this guy before, so we're in for a world of hurt, I'm sure. The K aura. Fantastic. So... He has life steal. Okay. Okay, we're doing our, do our normal shenanigans. This time we'll put the shields on. really doesn't have a whole lot of HP compared like his last boss we fought had about this much HP and just died in two turns so and we need to Ooh, the thing freeze bye frozen Here we go. Roll good, please. Not bad. It does have a notch, so that means something's gonna happen at half health. Um. Excuse me, game. Fear cause you to run as far as away as possible from the source. Okay, so I can't do anything this turn is what you're saying. Thanks, game. Okay, well you do no damage, so that really doesn't hurt me. Actually running low on health here. Oh, 
Wow, that was a full heal. So easy. Better not jinx myself though. Legendary one handed 17 to 22, not bad. Rare two handed. Bunch of wands. I could do a summoner. I don't know, it seems annoying to play. I already have enough characters. Here's the deal. Respect time. Okay, so he's reset. He's gonna go here. Backers mark. You know what, so we're gonna do a little different. So this, resistance and dodge, just to get to the next tier. We don't really care. We could take this. Like, this is just an extra attack. Better, um. Let's just try this. We'll run that. Take this. And then this. Quick hands. And then quick draw. It's kind of disgusting, to be honest. The next three basic attacks have no AP cost. It won't stack with haste, which is unfortunate, but it really doesn't matter. Still better than we have right now, so. I really don't want to nerf his damage. I think... I really like the debuffs he's doing. But really, he's doing nothing else but swinging. So I think... Let's uh, rethink our team here, so... I like the idea of a frost tank. This guy's doing nothing but stunning. I just don't like the mages. They just don't do much. Like, besides buff people. Like, no one really does anything except the ranger, let's be honest. The ranger's really doing everything right now. Okay, so lightning mage also really isn't doing anything useful. I really like the idea of a lightning cold warrior tank. They wouldn't be useless because they'd be doing the uh, enchant lightning... Enchant cold. And then also hitting these awesome... Yeah, I think, I think it's worth it. So let's... The ice mage here.
question is how do I want to get to it? Probably physical resistance. He'd be basically unkillable. And it would be useful if this character also was doing the cursing and stuff. So if he went... I could run two rangers if I just cut a mage. It's kind of the idea. And I'd also probably want to have two characters with elemental buffing. I go shield mastery. Maybe like a melee DPS, melee tank, two rangers, the priest who's also going to be able to do nuking damage with the heal spells. I, there's something we can lock that makes them do damage to enemies too. And then one, like some kind of mage of some kind, probably a fire mage. I'd. I don't know, heat is just good. The thing is, you can just get a fire starter anyway. And then just, everybody starts with with heat. And then, mass haste, though. So we need, we need a, yeah, so that's what we're... Okay. Eight points, what is most useless, useful right now? I think the, the shields are useless. Let's do physical resist. Not really going to be applying a lot of chilled. I mean, against boss, it'd be good. I think it is still good, so we'll take that. I feel like physical resist is better than cold resist. Then again, you get negative bolt resist more often. Take that. Chant cold. We want to get to invulnerable winter. Because then this character will also just put all of their points into intelligence, right? Because intelligence will also increase their critical chance and damage. I don't think you really care about the damage they do. Okay, so this, Deep Freeze. Another freeze attack. I think this might work. So diamond ice. Mass freeze applies frozen to all enemies. Okay, that's spicy. I 
I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of ways to go about this. Like, I don't think anything is in, in, in particularly good. Better. So we should see our armor increase. Like, holy cow. Look at this. So this guy, we've been stacking as much armor as we can on him. And the Ice Mage has twice that now. That's insane. Okay. So then... We want stuff that gives him int as much as possible. This would still probably increase it more, right? Yeah, it's more. You would have intelligence amulets? No. Feels kind of busted. She still has the basic staff, so might as well put it. Field on her. Intelligence wand? A gun? <laughs> I don't know. Obviously this, right? So she has 162 armor now. Kind of busted. Then we go... She has not a lot of health, but then we go into... Uh, let's see. Can I do, do I have a desktop? Let's see. There's a uh, character planner. We can even see if this works. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Now we're theory crafting, boys. So we need to get down to... Conduit is insane. Gain an additional action every turn. That's just... Okay, so... Trying to figure out the the viability of this. That's how we get energy shield. That's probably the furthest we'd go on lightning. Then on warrior. Right? Um. Warrior worth doing anything. Or would I just keep going further down? So I'd probably go frozen core. There was something in here I really wanted, right? Yeah, here we go. Furious George. Percent of your armored value is added to your character's additional weapon damage. So that's, we go to Frozen Core. I don't know, this is just a lot of good stuff in Frost. 
So, and we'd have 17 points for max level here left. So we'd go... Challenger, because really we care about increasing our armor. Here, here. Just warmonger for extra damage. Maybe physical resistance. We'd go the shield. Furious George. The thing is, I don't know what a high armor value end game is, because if we had this skill right now, we'd get 1.5% damage, or like 1.6% damage. So maybe this build idea is just kind of stupid. We can go here and here. Because even this doesn't apply to ice spells. When we're casting these, like... I mean, to be fair, this is the only one that does any damage. We should basically be unkillable, though. Like... Do this, and then... Heavy Rains. Let me get even more stuff from... Intelligence. Or we take that out, then... Then we'd go this. Get cursed. Then he does utility. I just don't think this is relevant. Probably done build. Anyway, so thank you for entertaining this uh, new game. I might stream it a couple more times, just between now and the time that uh, the War Tales update comes out. War Tales should be coming out with an update pretty soon. It says this month. Um, and if it does come out, it'll be great because it'll have a higher difficulty and there's some uh, great new features and quality of life features in that uh, the update coming up. So. Anyways, y'all, I'll see you guys in the next stream.